Sound is one of those things that not a lot of people tend to gloss over when they're talking about their PCs. I mean, it's way more exciting to talk about Titan X's and Quad SLI running three 4K monitors. And yes, I will give you that later. But in reality, your PC's ability to produce good sound does affect the experience and is dependent on a variety of factors. And it's important to understand what these factors are, or else all your friends are going to come over and ask you what bit rate and frequency your audio is playing at. You're going to be like, what? And you'll look like a fool unless you watch this video. More at 11. Save yourself from rabbit cancer. <laughs> So here's the background. Your PC is not a very hospitable place for audio signals, namely because all of the components inside produce electrical interference, which can bleed into the sound processing portions of your motherboard and manifest as hissing or distortion or crackling coming through your headphones and speakers. Now, integrated sound has gotten a lot better in recent years with isolated, you know, chunks on the motherboard that are dedicated to sound or even shielding and all that kind of stuff. But while that reduces interference enough that you won't get significant audio degradation, a lot of monitors have less than optimal, particularly amplification capabilities. And that's where dedicated external equipment like DACs, amps, and sound cards come in. Now the question is this, do you need one of these things in your system? Well, it depends on a few things. First, what other audio equipment are you using? Are you using, you know, $60 headphones? Are you using, you know, $1 earbuds from the dollar store? Where else would you get $1 earbuds? Am I right, people? Or are you using $250 cans? Are you use powering bookshelf speakers? Also, are you looking to do some music production or are you just looking to play games and experience the full glorious auditory experience that Minesweeper has to offer? And finally, are you looking to get into fights with people who think you picked the wrong device and will torment you on Reddit? Ah, uh, yes. Sound cards versus I dropped it. External USB DACs and or amps, the eternal battle. Not so much actually, because people are leaning more towards these external devices these days. So what are they then? DAC stands for Digital to Analog Converter. In simple terms, it translates the digital signal, zeros and ones that your computer outputs, to analog signals, the actual, you know, sound waves that reach your ear. Well, sort of, I mean, it sends that to the headphones, but you get the point. Conversely, a microphone is an example of an analog to digital converter or ADC. So you create sound waves, which are converted to a digital signal within the microphone and interpreted by your computer. Now DACs can come in an external box, often coupled with an amplifier inside, which as its name implies, boosts the audio signal coming from your PC and allows headphones with high impedance, like those big cans, if you know what I mean, to reach their full potential. And while DAX and amps do come separately, well, they'll often appear in one device, just like the R pack from RCAM. Sound cards, on the other hand, pretty much most of the time incorporate an amp, unless we're talking about some very high level professional equipment that is meant to be used with an external, you know, sound board and all that kinds of production level stuff. So then if sound cards and DACs do basically the same thing, I mean, what's all the hubbub about? Well, sound cards usually have software that allows you to customize things like EQ settings, surround sound, like virtual surround sound setups, uh, general audio quality profiles, and much more. They generally have more audio inputs and outputs, allowing you to connect 5.1 speakers or, or microphone in and line in, for example. And they're also inside the PC, which means no cables, no clutter on your desk. However, that also means they're inside the PC, which is where that interference you're trying to get away from resides. The last point is actually why most people these days are looking for an external DAC and amp for quality audio. While they don't generally come with any audio tweaking software and don't have as many inputs and outputs on average, they're outside the PC case, which gives you awesome protection from electrical interference, and the vast majority of them don't even require any drivers. You just plug them in and bippity-boop, you're ready to go. Everything is controlled, usually via a volume knob, or in this case, with some buttons. Now, 
There are high-end sound cards that sweeten the deal a bit with component shielding and super high signal-to-noise ratios guaranteeing distortion-free sound or close to it or whatever else the case may be, but the fact of the matter is there's a lot of specs that whether it's a sound card maker or a DAC or amp maker that are important to the audio experience that you're not actually getting. Which brings us back to the, the big question. So if you're looking to have, a great, have great audio for gaming, what should you get? DACs are a good solution. And if your headphones have low impedance, buying an external DAC is a great way to reduce interference. But with that said, if you have headphones with low impedance and you're, you know, not looking to, you know, get rid of like really horrible interference from your motherboard sound, your onboard sound, especially with the advancements that have been made in the chips that go on them, as long as it's not an extremely low end one these days, make it pretty darn good as well. And then the sound card, I guess, sits somewhere in the middle. If you're looking to get into music production, well, there's a whole other side of things. Different sound cards and different external devices, um, and that's sort of beyond the scope of this video. So, right, I guess there's always a you know, another option, you can check out the communities on the NCIX forums or Linus Tech Tips forums, where if all of this just sounded like totally confusing stuff, then you can get a great recommendation from one of the awesome community members there. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let us know in the comments, do you have a DAC or a sound card or something else? What is it? No, don't show it to me. Ah, thanks for watching guys. Like the video if you liked it and, uh, or dislike the video. Linus don't care because Linus keeps it real. You put that in the script. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.